So I wanted to make a real quick note and video on this uh, 2008 Dodge Ram 4.7 flex fuel. Uh, I think all the 4.7s up to this generation or something like that, uh, around this generation, um, are flex fuel 4.7s. They have dual spark, so you have the ignition coil that goes up here, and the cable that runs off to the side and feeds the second spark plug. Um, one thing to know is that the spark plugs are different. Uh, the top one is going to be uh, copper, and the bottom is going to be, I believe you can use iridium or whatever else. Uh, it's supposed to be but uh, they're not the same spark plug uh, although I believe they are the same length but one thing to note is that when you pull these coils off after you remove the 10 millimeter you loosen the 10 millimeter uh, the boot is going to rip and it's gonna get stuck down there and so the best thing that you can do when that happens is go ahead and spray uh, this one came out good actually but this one didn't this one didn't and uh, when I first noticed this uh, it was a pain in the ass kind of nerve-wracking and frustrating uh, but the one on the top will do this it will rip more than likely if you haven't done it before see both of them are broken I ended up uh, buying replacement boots for these but what I do is I spray WD-40 up on around the edges uh, with the one that has the straw uh, so you can see that so stick that in there around the edges and let it soak a little bit and also on the inside in the middle right there and so let it soak and then you get a, a nice long pick uh, which I had around here somewhere let me see if I can find it um, and then you start jabbing around the edges I'll show you in a minute so what I would do in this situation where you feel kind of like you're stuck and you're out of luck, start kind of prying, I don't know if you can see that, start prying around the edges. So just go around, so you can see that, it's going to a better angle. So kind of pry around, and what that does is that it'll allow the WD-40 to make its way towards the bottom. The reason why it's sticking and ripping See that? It's because the rubber is actually melting and sticking to the wall and probably sticking also to the spark plug. And so if you you think you're just gonna get these out nice and smooth, like some videos might suggest, uh, that's not the case. This thing is gonna break if it's old. And that is my trick that I learned. Um, also, uh, this, this hole as well does not allow you to stick a regular 5.8. Um, socket it has to be a thin wall 5 8 socket uh, so 5-8 it is a 5 8 but it has to be thin thin wall uh, I don't have one specifically but I am able to use my regular 5 8 3 8 drive and it's able to work so there's an example uh, of this thing breaking on me and I at this point I'm not even being gentle trying to salvage them I just ripped the crap out of them because I, I tried doing that on one side and uh, didn't work, it was just frustrating, a loss of time. I lost like three hours just trying to do stupid spark plugs. And this is the reason why. So, um, yeah, get that thin wall 5 8 for sure. And also, uh, uh, this is the way it, it's gonna happen. These are gonna rip just like that, just like they both did. Uh, and you can replace them. I went to O'Reilly's. Here's the part. They come with the little, uh, here's the part number. They come with the little, um, a little spring in the middle coil contact for the uh, ignition coil uh, so it'll here's a picture of it uh, this is not exactly what they look like uh, why not since i'm already doing it might as well see a little there and then you put this little spring in here you can see that in one second all right you get the spring there it's the, the both sides are even so it don't matter just shove it in there it's gonna get stuck halfway which is that's what you want and then you once you remove the uh, old boot off the off the ignition coil uh, you just go ahead and pop it in place till it sits flush you'll see it and then there you go that'll be done that's what it's supposed to look like on that end but 
that is a quick tip because uh, I feel like I didn't know and the videos that I have seen of, uh, of how to do this uh, didn't didn't uh, mention that you're gonna have this problem so you saw me pop that one up that's what's happening